Good time in the first day, George, is just what I, if I can get done with getting the uh, um, major elements in their places so it can dry, then that's a good start. because they're in love with something. And this thing we call beauty, you know, the magic of the visual impression, the magic of whatever the artists bring from the history of the Renaissance down. Just they're looking at this stuff and saying, amazing, amazing, I gotta do this. You see what I mean? And I wanted to get past, you know, so the, 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 you know, the piss Christ painting mentality, you know, where everything is about trashing it. The Duchamp and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, and the, and the urinal. So I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say, can we, George, can we elevate? Can we get this thing to actually elevate something at the great yes? We're in love with something. And work from there. Just promote that idea that we're in love, that we're in love. We're, in love. we're really, we're really, we're really, this is a great yes. We've seen something, and we want you to see what we saw, like dragging somebody out to see the sunset. Because it's so amazing. So it's, it's, just, it's a need. Great art is aesthetics is a need, human need. You know, mm -hmm. so it's much like the plants. When you see the plants and the, that they're doing all these tests and they play classical music, the plants grow twice as big. When they play no music, they're healthy. But when they play certain kinds of music, they actually start dying. <laughs> so is there something happening in modern art? Which, which, which category is that in? But there's this calling that when we reach toward, it's like reaching toward the sun, you know, when, you're talk, when you start talking about uh, uh, what, what, what nourishment is provided by the arts historically. What, why we even developed the aesthetics, the world, you know, the, the science of aesthetics was about that love, was about the pursuit of beauty. And, the, and there's something about a yes, that you know, there's a yearning in your soul and art fulfills it, you know. Art, art helps you with that, yeah. for lack of anything better to say. But the marketing question is the big one, right? Why is the Boston School sat down below and never stood up above? Well, the Ashcan School was marketed like heck. And every single one of these negating schools that is saying no to this and no to that and how it can't be this, you know, the reductionist schools, how they keep on, how they keep on yet elevating themselves above everybody else. And so my hope is that the Boston School of Conversation can suddenly say, hey guys, let's get back to the real thing. Let's get back to love. Let's get back to beauty and truth. Let's get back to helping people feel good about who they are. And about becoming better people and about being, being noble, you know, the ennobling concepts. So, poorly said, but that's the concept. The Dutch masters spent a lot of time painting things around the house and people at work and people oh, sure. at play. Right. Um, but there was not the nobility that, you know, previously had been, you know, hundreds of years of tradition. You know, the Boston School um, you know, didn't seem to be about that nobility either. No, and, and there's, a, there's a question on here. So I can paint a portrait of somebody. When you get to Aikens, who's a very acceptable to the modern world, he's looking at people and making them look like they're depressed. He's making them look sad and miserable and not seeing them in their most elevated uh, moment and not seeing the goodness in them. But he's seeing their trouble, their despair. Well, I, you know, I, th there's a concept that goes with painting that discusses melancholy and all those sorts of things. But what's the end goal? The end goal is to elevate. So even those guys, when they sit there painting his daughters in those rooms, He's actually talking about family. He's talking about the beauty of home. He's talking about women and interiors and the magic of that. So you see what I'm saying? So there's an elevating thing. He's not saying, look at that, those are rich people. You know, and the Ashcan School stands up and says, we're not painting rich people anymore. Well, they weren't even rich. They were, they were just average people. They, none of them came from rich backgrounds. But they were painting what was around them and finding magic in it, finding something of values, finding the, a reason to be, a, a yes. 